Hello everyone and welcome back to the FIDE World Cup 2019, it's round 2.1 and it's a very nice game between Shahriar Mamedyarov and Rustam Kasimjanov, uh, a lot of you have requested it already and for good reasons as it is a wonderful game, so thank you all for that. Uh, without further ado, let's just uh, check it out. Uh, so Mamedyarov with the white pieces opens with d4, uh, with knight to f6, c4, uh, e6, knight to f3 and of course you all know where this is going, d5, we have the queen's gambit, the Declined. Bishop to g5 and now d captures uh, on c4 uh, with e4 preparing to recapture on c4 and here uh, b5 one of the uh, one of the lines where it's actually okay to defend your uh, c4 pawn uh, with a4 now attacking the b5 pawn uh, c6 defending and now knight to c3 uh, with queen to b6 and here uh, in 2018 uh, the most played move for example was bishop captures on f6 but in 2019 new poison has been found with bishop to e2 so a uh, few games uh, in 2019 have followed this exact, exact same path. Uh, we have knight b to d7 and now d5. And there uh, is one game, uh, for example, where black uh, got a good game, but in the end the white also won. Where b4 was played, it was last year, uh, Alexander Ryazantsev uh, versus Vladimir Potkin in the Mark Dvoretsky Memorial Tournament, uh, where, one, uh, where white won a very nice game, even though b4... Uh, is uh, is a fine move for black, but here uh, with e captures on d5 and e captures on d5 is a new move in the position. So already as of move nine, uh, very exciting chess. Uh, with e captures on d5 uh, and only now b4 going after the knight. D captures on c6 now threatening to capture here with check. Uh, so queen captures on c6 and now knight to b5. Uh, and here bishop to c5, black is uh, ready to castle, uh, this knight for the moment doesn't have any threats there, uh, we have castles by white, and here black could have castled, uh, which probably uh, is a good idea, but uh, the, the move played in the game is also fine, he played bishop to b7, putting pressure here on, the, on g2, uh, and now you also might have some ideas of castling queenside. Uh, it's hard to say why why castles wasn't played before, but okay. Uh, knight b to d4, attacking the queen here, trying to get uh, black to give up his dark square bishop, but queen to d5. And here, rook to c1, white is now ready to recapture uh, the gambited pawn. Uh, black uh, decides uh, he will play c3, with b captures on c3, b captures on c3, and now not recapturing with the rook, uh, which is also fine, but the bishop captures on f6 is much stronger, freeing this diagonal for the light square bishop. Uh, with knight captures on f6 and now bishop to b5 check, which is very important as now trying to block check, for example, knight back to d7 just loses to rook to e1 check. Uh, and now you have to go here, otherwise you lose the knight, you have to defend it, and now just rook captures on c3, and the black king in, in, in the line of fire of white's heavy alt, uh, artillery uh, will just not be able to survive. This rook is coming to d3, and that, that's just game over. So, after bishop to b5 check, we have king to f8 by Kasimjanov, and now comes rook captures on c3. Uh, just grabbing that pawn, now also the rook can join uh, on d3, uh, and black still has to decide what to do with the king, and also how will you get your h8 rook into the game. Black of course uh, wants to do it as soon as possible, we have g6 preparing the castle artificially, uh, and now bishop back to c4, uh, pushing the queen back, we have queen to d6, and now comes rook to d3. And here uh, black has a couple of uh, a couple of ideas how to go about this position, uh, but going king g6 right away, uh, king g7 right away doesn't really work. You do want to do it as soon as possible, but uh, rook to d3 was uh, played play to prevent this. Now knight f5 check uh, will either win the queen or you will grab the knight and then just rook captures on d6 picks up the queen, uh, bishop captures, queen captures, and black is lost here. So after rook to d3, first queen to f4, getting the queen out of the way. Uh, but now Mamedyarov uh, starts a very fine attack. There was also a different line possible. Mamedyarov played queen to a1, uh, grabbing hold of this longest diagonal on the board at the moment that is free. 
but uh, also possible with g3 uh, uh, attacking the queen and after the queen moves now queen to b3 going after the f7 pawn so that, that was also one of the possibilities for example if you go bishop captures on f3 you get knight captures and now after king g7 you go knight to e5 with a triple attack on the f7 pawn also the, the queen is under attack and the black would not have a very nice game here uh, but okay, Mamidorov played queen to a1, he has a different plan with king to g7, and now uh, Mamidorov plays uh, a very nice idea. Uh, I just want to point out that there are a couple of moves that are very nice here. For example, knight to e6 check, uh, forks the king and queen, and then you get f captures and rook to d7 check. If you go here, uh, black is lost, you have to go to h6, now you recapture on b7, the game continues. White is a little bit better because the black king is on, on, on h6, but... Uh, uh, the game continues. Uh, however, Mamedyarov uh, started uh, uh, a different attack, a different brilliant attack, and for this attack, uh, we will grant Mamedyarov uh, a Morphe head. So there it is. Uh, Mamedyarov uh, now has a Morphe head, and he plays Bishop captures on f7. So you don't really have a, a better move other than to recapture the bishop. Uh, for example, if you try removing some of the attackers, uh, the, the f7 pawn is gone. So <laughs> the e7 square is now free for the knight. You will just lose your queen. So uh, king captures bishop is, in fact, the best, uh, the best you have here. So king captures bishop was played. And now knight to e2. As usual, the strongest move is uh, a move with the knight back. Uh, the queen is under attack, we have queen to f5 attacking the rook, and now uh, the nightmare continues. Knight to g3. Mamedyarov now offers a rook, because if you capture the rook, then knight e5 checks the king and traps the, well, wins the queen. Uh, so, after knight to g3, queen back to f4, and now knight to e5 check. The queen nicely protects the knight from a1, uh, and here... Uh, king to g7 is best for black, even though it's hard to do this, uh, put your king on this diagonal that the queen occupies, for example, knight d7 comes with an attack on the knight, on the bishop, uh, but still, after bishop to e7, you could attack at rook e1, rook f8, uh, black could continue this game. However, black didn't like this king to g7 move, black played boldly king to e6. And now this uh, this doesn't move this doesn't work, uh, but feel free to pause the video and try to figure out why this uh, bold idea doesn't work. While well, I give you a couple of seconds. Uh, so for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations, you are an excellent punisher of bold ideas that don't work. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, queen to a2 check. Uh, you have to invite the king even further down the board. That's how it's done in chess. For example, if king captures on e5, then Mamedyarov had a uh, rook to e1 planned with check. Uh, and now the king has no squares. Knight covers f5. This is covered by the queen. This is covered by the rook. Uh, you have to block it. For example, knight e4. Now you get queen to b2 check. And here you're just lost. Uh, for example, you move the king, rook to f3 now, forcing the queen to move back. Uh, you can go to f6 as uh, the, the knight is pinned from the rook here. If the queen protects the f6 square, for example, queen g5, you're just going to pick up uh, the bishop on b7, king, queen captures here, and there's nothing to do here. There is now a triple attack on this knight here. You cannot defend. You are completely lost. So queen to a2, very deadly move by Mr. Morphy Mamedyarov. Uh, so black has to block. Bishop to d5. Uh, but uh, Morphy Mamedyarov continues the attack. Rook captures on d5. Uh, and okay, the, the d5 square is protected, so uh, Kasim Janov captures it with knight captures on d5, and now another excellent move with the knight back, knight to d3, attacking the bishop, the queen, uh, for uh, threatening some nice discoveries. Uh, so queen to d4, defending the bishop, what else will you do? And now yet another move with the knight back, knight to e2. Uh, as you can see, the nightmare just uh, uh, it keeps going. Now, again, you cannot capture the knight. Knight f4 picks up the queen once again because the knight is pinned. You cannot recapture uh, with, with this knight. So, it's not possible. Queen to g4 was played, uh, hoping to, to, to at least uh, <laughs> grab a breath of fresh air, maybe, after knight captures on c5 and king moves. Uh, but Mamedyarov continues uh, in, in great style. He plays knight e uh, cat, uh, knight e to f4 check checks the king and now uh, there's a double attack against the knight here again the knight cannot capture king to f6 and here Mamedyarov just played uh, I mean Mr. Morphy Mamedyarov played knight capture on d5 with check uh, and it was in this position that Rustam Kasimjanov resigned the game as there is nothing more to do here once you react to check king g7 you're also losing the bishop here 
And okay, you do have, uh, you could say that white only has two knights for a rook, uh, but uh, that, that's uh, more than enough with, <laughs> with the king wide open and uh, black is not interested in, in playing this game uh, any, any longer. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, uh, very nice game, uh, one of the nicer games, so thank you all for suggesting it, uh, really really a nightmare on the board, uh, so I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to uh, thank uh, uh, Santosh Kumar uh, uh, Saravanan for your contribution to my channel, thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check to all my previous videos here, thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon, continuing the coverage of the World Cup. Uh, checking up on your lovely suggestions such as this one and uh, we will have a conclusion to the Capablanca saga uh, at some point. So yeah, uh, thank you all, I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your weekend.